Kendra. Today I'm here to do a video on some remedies for certain baby issues that happen for newborns like cradle cap, baby acne, dry skin. Between the two of my twin girls, they each have developed different things, so I want to let you guys know what has worked for us. And everything that I'm going to share with you is really natural, good, pure products that are safe, gentle for your babies. So I hope you guys all enjoy this and let's get into it. first thing I want to talk about is baby acne. So Violet got baby acne really bad at about, let's see, they're, they're nine weeks old now. So when she was, I want to say six weeks, that's when she started getting it, maybe five weeks. And it was pretty bad. It got worse and then it slowly started to go away, but it was really bad kind of up here near her eye. And then it kind of got like spread out more across her face. A lot of people say to use breast milk on baby acne and I know for, some people swear by that but for me it didn't work and it just kind of made it worse. The thing that I found to work the most is just washing their face multiple times a day. At least once a day if I could get around to it, if I remembered I would try to do it a couple times a day, especially on Violet. I did it on June too just to keep her face clean, but for Violet specifically to help with the acne. So what I use to wash their face is this. It's by Earth Mama Angel Baby. This is from Vitacost. Actually, all the products that I'm mentioning today are from Vitacost. I will link them all down below for you. They're all super affordable. This is a natural, non-sense body wash and shampoo made with unscented calendula, gentle castile soap. And what I do is I pump a little bit of this onto my fingers and I just gently massage it all over their face let it sit a sec and then I take a washcloth with warm water and then I slowly wash that off. That's all I do, it's so easy and it helped a lot with their skin. So Violet's skin is now pretty much completely clear. It definitely took a few weeks for it to go away. You just have to be patient with it. I think though that washing the face is a really essential thing if your babies have acne because if you think about it, they're getting spit up all over their face, they're getting breast milk and then just dirt and debris and that sort of thing. So, but I really think that this helped a lot. Next up, I wanna talk about cradle cap, which is dry, flaky skin on your scalp. June went super bald all of a sudden and she had, she still had hair down here. So she had kind of like a bald ring and then bald scalp. Now it's already back. Her hair is growing back, which is crazy. I thought she'd go full bald for a while because myself and Andrew were really bald for a long time. But Violet didn't lose that much hair. She lost some, but not a ton, but it's, both of them have their hair back now. So what I've been using for their scalp is just pure almond oil. This is by the company called Spectrum. And olive oil to me is just really gentle and pure. And I also love this on just your skin, on your face. So what I would do with this, take a little, you don't need that much at all, a little bit on my hands and I would massage it all over their scalp. And then I would just use this brush, it came in our first aid kit, and kind of massage that, work all the oil into their scalp. And you're not gonna notice a difference right away, but if you do it once a day, you will notice a huge difference. It's pretty much gone now on their head. I really like to use this after they take a bath too because when their skin is a little bit more damp, the oil just absorbs into your skin a little bit better. That's just with any oil. It always absorbs better when your skin's a little bit damp. So really like the almond oil. The other product though that I've just been using on their bodies since honestly like their, the first week they were born, I love these, is uh, they're by California Baby. They're the massage oils. I've been using this one the longest. It's the Overtired and Cranky Massage Oil with Roman Chamomile. But I just got this one. This is the calming one and this has French lavender in here. With these, I always like to use them after they take a bath. It really helps to calm them down and help with their dry skin. I just recently started using this on their head too and it works. So you can use some type of baby oil like this or almond oil. You can also use olive oil. Something to really help to moisturize the scalp. I also think it might help with their hair growth because after I started doing that, their hair grew in right away. So if you have a bald baby, try it. And last, I just wanna talk about dry skin. So when I'm giving them a bath, this is the product that I use. It's again by California Baby. It's the super sensitive, so it's made with no fragrance. It's the shampoo and body wash. So I pump a bunch of this into their bath and then I also put this on the little sponge that I have to clean their skin. I like this because it doesn't over dry their skin, it just keeps it very hydrated but also cleans it at the same time. And then again, I go in with some oil. So honestly, these are amazing. I just put a little bit of this oil into my hands, rub it together, and then I apply it to their feet, just kind of massage that into their feet. 
their hands, their belly, their legs, wherever they're dry. And it's, it absorbs so quickly, it smells amazing, and it really has made their skin a lot more smooth and hydrated. So those are the few products that I found to really, really help with our girl's skin. I hope you guys found this helpful. And if you have any little remedies that you'll use yourself, please leave them in the comments for me and for everybody else watching. So that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for spending the time with me, and I will see you all very soon in another video.